welcome back to my channel <laughs> okay so today i'm feeling my promise yeah about teaching you guys how to make whipped cream especially whipped cream for beginners so i've like several people have asked me in the past like how do i make whipped cream cream i should make more whipped cream videos because i work a lot with whipped cream so i kept promising i was going to make them but i never really got to it so this class is going to be in five parts and today is going to be the part one and we need to teach you guys the basics of whipped cream how to make whipped cream from the scratch and then how to cover a cake completely in whipped cream and neatly how to make texture design with whipped cream and how to like do elaborate designs with whipped cream and everything so this class is going to be in five parts and this this one is a part one <laughs> and i'm going to like title it so if you want to find it among my videos and everything i'm going to title it whipped cream class for beginners part one part two part three part four part five yeah that's what i'm going to be doing okay okay so on a lighter note here this weekend one of my favorite people in the world like i asked her like what's my fashion sense style ish and she was like comfortable and cropped up and that's true all i buy is cropped ups okay okay so all i buy are cropped ups i don't understand english okay so today let's get started we're going to be making a whipped cream cake and i'm going to show you guys the basics and if you have questions for me remember to leave them in the comment section below and everything i'm going to be using in these videos i'm going to list them in the description box for you guys to see in case you want to buy in case maybe you want to start a business or you're planning to make a cake for an occasion or anything okay so if you're a beginner this class is especially for you and i'm making it specifically for you so stay tuned okay so guys in this class yeah i'm going to be showing you guys how to cover a cake in whipped cream like and have it be neat the basis of this class like the point yeah the point of like this class this particular one is to show you guys how to cover a cake in whipped cream neatly and beautifully and then you can put place um an artificial flower on top to make to make it like come together and to make it like an old design and everything but in this video i'm going to be using a cake dummy because i can't keep giving out cake like i'm not that rich yet yeah okay so in this video i'm going to be using a cake dummy so if you're going to be using a cake of course you're going to be using a cake the first thing you want to do is make sure you slice your cakes and lay your cakes yeah and layer them and then do a light crumb coat and then you put it in the fridge for about maybe two three hours or in the freezer for at least 30 minutes so you're going to have like a solid base that is already like the crumbs are out of the way and everything okay so for this we're going to be needing a scraper regardless of what kind of scraper you use like i have two kinds of scrapers this metal one and this um this um acrylic one yeah so regardless of what kind of scraper you use yes it can work so i'm going to show you how to make it neat regardless of what scraper you're using so and i already made some whipped cream that i colored red if you want to see how i make my very very extremely red whipped cream i'm going to put the link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that okay so see how stable it is and i'm turning it all over and it's not turning and it tastes wonderful as well because it doesn't have the utter taste of like too much food coloring and then if you try to color whipped cream before you know that if you put too much color you're going to get an aftertaste and for you to get like a very deep red you might end up getting an aftertaste so for this video i showed you guys how to make really nice whipped cream without an aftertaste okay so let's get into the tutorial what you want to make sure you do is to lapter remember you've already crumb coated your cake and kept it in the fridge for at least two, two to three hours or in the freezer for at least 30 minutes that's because like now you have an even base outside to work with so what you want to do is laptop laptop in house that means like just put like put as much as you can so just like keep putting it like put as much frosting as you can the point of this is you're not going to use all of this frosting of course you're going to scrape it off but for you to get an even um number one what this does for you is that it makes your work faster it makes it easier and it makes it a lot neater so what you want to do is make sure you have more than enough to use and for this size of cake you need about 600 grams of cream i have a whipped cream recipe i'm going to put the link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that and in these videos i'm going to put like i'm going to make a playlist for you guys so in the playlist this video is in five parts like i mentioned initially but in the playlist the five parts is not i'm going to include the 
whipped cream recipe how you all you can get like really stable whipped cream i have two videos for that i'm going to include it so this playlist is going to have about seven to eight videos in it but the design and everything is going to be just five videos so this is the number one so like i said initially just laptop put as much as you can just keep putting put wherever you think there are spaces yeah by the sides by the top so once you're done with that what you want to make sure you do is your top is smooth like you smooth on the top and let it be as leveled as possible like you can still like spread the ones you spread on top to the sides if you understand but you can like put as much cream as possible yeah i know i keep like hammering put as much cream as possible because that makes your work easier that makes it easier to work with that make it it makes it easier for you to control the cream and have like a smooth after base and you'll be seeing your um cake peep from underneath yeah okay so you're going to fill in the spaces where the parts where like there is no enough whipped cream just put as much just put as much as possible then regardless of what scraper you have then take a scraper in this case you don't want to use a cake comb i'm still going to show you guys how to use a cake comb on whipped cream so you don't want to use a cake comb you want to use a scraper and you want to go slowly and i want you to notice something yeah i'm going i don't want to scrape everything at once you can go as if you decide to scrape everything at once i know that sounds like it will be shorter but it won't actually be shorter it will take you a longer time but if you scrape in bits because that way you over scrape and then you have to add more whipped cream and then like the circle goes on and on and it's endless and it just makes your work like a bore because it's way too long so what you want to do is you make sure you scrape in bits and like in small parts can you see what i'm doing i'm scraping carefully i don't want to scrape everything all at once so i'm scraping carefully and slowly and I want you to notice another thing I'm doing. I'm putting the whole, I'm making sure the bottom, um, the horizontal line, the horizontal part of my cake scraper is touching the board completely. I don't know if that makes sense. This is easier to describe in person. <laughs> but you want to make sure when you're scraping a cake, especially a whipped cream cake or maybe a buttercream cake, a cream cake basically, so that you can scrape and your cake can be upright. It's not bent, it's not slanty. You want to make sure the bottom of your scraper, especially if your scraper is straight up. That's why I like, advise you buy like straight scrapers. So I'm just going to put a link to buy this kind of scrapers in the description box below in case you need them. You can buy the metal one or you can buy the acrylic one, whichever one is easier. This kind of scrapers are good because you don't have to, you won't bend your hand. I'm following the, okay, let me explain myself again. Put the scraper on top of the cake board and let it be like just staying there like upright it's not bent like it is staying on top of the cake board like as if you want it to stand but you're not just going to leave it to stand you're going to be scraping buttercream with your whipped cream with it that way your cake is upright because you're using like the shape of the scraper to shape i don't know if you understand you're not going to be lifting the scraper off of the cake board while you scrape you're going to make sure every part of the scraper that's supposed to touch the board is touching which is the bottom part yeah that way it will be to be very neat okay so i want you guys to notice what i'm doing right now yeah you want to take your cake um your spatula and then swipe inside swipe the excess cream at the edges inside yeah but at this point it is still not neat enough so i'm going to show you how to make it neat and how to make the outside of your whipped cream cake glossy so what you want to do next is to take the scraper and also the spatula and then wash it you want to wash it and make sure it is clean and there is still some remnants of water on it and then now you want to scrape and when you scrape you want to scrape in one small small chunk because that water cleans up your whipped cream if you are doing this for butter cream you should you like use hot water because the hotness of the water is what makes your butter because you know butter now it's what makes your but is what makes your butter cream smooth but for whipped cream it's just regular water you know it doesn't need to be hot so take your scraper and then go in like straight motions you don't want to be going in bits and pieces because that way you have lines in your cake okay so once you you've done the sides it's remaining the top so i'm going to show you how to do the top and get it really well so you want to take your scraper and your spatula again to you know the tap and then wash it off and make sure it is clean but this time you need your spatula and a clean sponge and this sponge is not the sponge you use to wash with this is like a sponge you use for cake so Make sure you separate that because those ones have a lot of bacteria so take once you swipe inside once you use your neat spatula to swipe inside again you're going to clean your spatula on the sponge that way you're not going to be putting the remnant you already swiped out on top of the cake again when you're trying to swipe the next side i don't know i, I hope i'm making some sense to you guys like <sighs> i really hope like i'm making some sense to you guys 
okay so that's what you want to do until you've gone all around so now you've used your clean um scraper to scrape the sides and you've also you've also used your clean wet spatula to scrape the top so now everything is clean and smooth and like there are no you know just make sure whenever you want to smooth in you want to make sure first of all you want to make sure you scrape off the excess of the whipped cream around your cake and everything is um okay well scraped and upright then step two the next thing you want to do is wet your scraper and your spatula and then scrape off again the wetness is what creates that really like seamless smoothness yeah so that's all we've done in this video it's not rocket science like that's all you have to do scrape off the excess and make sure it's standing upright first and then before you smooth in with water you have to first make sure like there are no excess and your cake is standing upright then take your spatula and your your scraper and then make clean it and make sure it is wet and then use it to go around the cake once again and that's all yeah if you don't get it at once you can do it again and again so until like your cake is really smooth and it's nice so you're going to take the same sponge and then you're going to wipe very carefully around your cake because when you're decorating the cake you don't want your customer to see the mess you made while decorating the cake hope that makes sense and it's important to know that you're not going to be using the sponge you used to wash with because that's going to stress you out and see how clean this is see how clean and so pretty it's so clean and well done it looks more like buttercream now because it is glossy and very pretty and you can see bubbles in it okay so the next thing we're going to do is just to place some artificial flower on it so that's all you can buy these flowers in maybe all those flower stores you can use natural flowers if you want but i prefer to use artificial because you know it won't dry up on you and stuff and plus they are cheaper so just place it and like it just glams up the cake almost immediately and that's all you have to do so this we have come to the end of our first class and i hope you guys enjoy this class okay so i made a border and i didn't remember to film it so let me show you how i made the border around the cake so what you want to do is just you don't need a piping tip just cut the tip of your piping bag and the size of what the border if you make it too big your butter will be big if you make it small the butter will be small in the size of butter you want and then do this see what i'm doing i'm like piping then dragging piping dragging piping dragging piping dragging and that was what i did all around the cake and it was very easy see i hope you guys like this so this can be the base for any kind of cake you want to make this you can get your whipped cream to be smooth and nice you can use it to decorate almost anything you can do you can do and undo from here basically so thank you guys i hope you liked this video and it was useful to you so i hope you're looking forward to the part two of this video thank you guys and i will see you in my next tutorial thank you and subscribe and please give me a thumbs up yes please give me a thumbs up i'd really like it thank you guys bye picking up first. okay she, i sent it to her but she didn't like it so she sent it back so i told her to bring it back actually and give her a full refund because she didn't like the color and everything so if you want to see how like i made the color and i struggled with like getting really dark whipped cream even though that wasn't my first time of making dark black whipped cream <laughs> it just wasn't working out sometimes things just don't work out like no matter how hard you try i don't know like they are just those days like and i've learned you win some you lose some so you just have to move forward okay so today i thought like even though the customer didn't like it like why not like make it a teachable moment for you guys because i already filmed it because i thought it was going to turn out nice but you know okay so and like if you've been following my whipped cream um class like i started a whipped cream for beginners class and i'm making five different classes for you in case you don't know how to work with whipped cream if you watch this class from the beginning you're going to see how to work with whipped cream um how to make really stable whipped cream and how to use it to crumb cut cakes how to layer cakes with it how to make simple designs how to make elaborate designs and everything with whipped cream so that's what this class is for so and i made a playlist for you guys so i'm going to put the link right up here yeah the link to the playlist six click on me yeah click on that so you're going to see the playlist where like the recipes and everything and like how to do everything is there for you guys and if you want to you see like what how to buy and where to buy some of the things i used in this video the tools and everything check the description box you're going to see like some links there to order and everything so and i get a commission for everything you order so please order away yeah 
okay so today we're going to be making like a princess cake like the print it's supposed to be pink and black yeah the princess is sitting on top of the cake and there is like like um like a dress is cascading downwards that's what it's supposed to be <laughs> okay so let's get started yeah i already torted my cake torting means like you're layering it and then you're crumb coating and putting it together with cream and fillings and everything so i already torted my cake and this is the whipped cream we're going to be using yeah it didn't turn out as black as i wanted and i was trying to strike a balance between making it black enough and then not having an aftertaste by putting too much food coloring so like as a cake decorator you have to be able to strike the deep, the balance between design and 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 taste yeah because taste is very important design is very important as well that's why the people came to you because they saw like you made a really pretty cake so they want you to make them a pretty cake but at the same time it needs to taste good so you need to be able to strike the balance so i guess i couldn't really strike the balance well in this cake so like i just got my losses and just gave it to someone like as a giveaway or something so okay so what you want to do for this kind of cake is this is a more elaborate cake so i'm going to be teaching you step by step on what to do so what you want to do is do a crumb coat yeah i already taught you how to do a crumb coat in previous videos so and then you want to take the cream and then you want to put as much as possible around your cake yes as much like emphasis on as much as possible yeah you're sticking to scrape like most of it away but it's easier for beginners especially if you have like more than enough cream to scrape away because that way you don't have to be working too hard and be removing and be adding removing and adding and stuff so all you have to do is remove yeah so put as much as possible so take as much as possible cream and try to cover every patch you can see any patch that looks like there's not enough cream yeah put i uh, like add more just just keep adding you can't add too much because you're still going to scrape it off either ways and like the more cream on it the easier it is to scrape off so you want to take your scraper and today i'm going to be using my acrylic scraper and if you want to buy it the link is in the description box below i have the acrylic scraper and i have the metal one but i prefer the acrylic one because it is a lot taller so depending on whichever one you want to buy the link is in the description box below so you want to scrape yeah and you want to scrape until it is neat so at this point what this first initial scraping does for you is that it shows you where you can add more cream like the parts that are empty the parts where you can see patches the parts where like it dips inside because there's not enough cream yes you want to fill in those spaces so the first scraping like kind of tells you the part the part of the cake where you want to add more cream to if that makes sense yeah so before you do the second scraping and then the third one yeah you do it in parts because if you do this in like you don't have to be in a hurry because that way like your cake turns out a lot better if you are not in a hurry so you want to scrape again you want to go around it and scrape again and you want to make sure like i said in previous videos that the bottom part of your scraper is touching your cake board completely that way you are sure you are rest assured that your cake is tall and it is like it's standing tall and upright and it is not slanty at all because if your cake is slanty like nobody wants a slanty cake you want it to be tall and elegant of course so you want to go again and do like another light scrape you're not pressing your hands too much you're just like moving you're turning the turntable and at the same time you're making sure like the bottom part of your scraper is touching your cake board completely and touching your cake if that makes sense so once you're done with this scraping what we want to do next is to wash the scraper and what that does when you're using whipped cream is that when you come back to scrape it it is going to be a lot neater and like like a uh, like glossier than it was initially so you're going to like clean off all of the i don't know all of the not neatness that was on it before so when you're using whipped cream and you want to do the final scrape you have to make sure your your scraper is wet whether you're using an acrylic scraper or you're using a metal scraper so it makes it a lot neater and i hope you can see that it is a lot neater now like it is neat and it is completely smooth yeah yeah so that's what you want to do if it is not smooth the first time you did it you want to wash your scraper again and then go the second time so now i'm going to take my um my spatula and i want to make sure it is washed and cleaned and every time i use it to touch the top of the cake to scrape off the excess cream i want to clean it on my food sponge yeah 
make sure the sponge you use for this is not the sponge you use to wash space because those ones tend to accumulate a lot of bacteria so you want to make sure you have a special sponge that you use to clean your kickboard and you also used to like like clean your like frosting on top of your cake and everything so make sure to keep that in mind so once we are done and the top of our cake is completely smooth the next thing we want to think about yeah it was at this point i realized that okay this cake is not black enough <laughs> and at this point it was kind of a little bit too late to like retrace my steps and everything so but i was thinking okay let's just see how it goes and stuff and usually when i make cakes like this i like to like add and take away from it to like adjust the design so it can look a lot better because sometimes when people send you pictures and like you want to recreate the exact thing in the picture it's almost impossible because it's like you're trying to write you're trying to copy somebody's notes you remember when you were in secondary school and you want to write from somebody's notebook what you already wrote down and you're trying to write in the person's handwriting it's almost impossible yeah so it's almost the same thing so when you're that's why i tell my customers i don't make photocopies i can maybe make you a replica as close as i can get but i don't make photocopies okay so at this point i was trying to look for the point to put the the topper the barbie topper yeah so i like find the point like once you find the point to put the barbie topper you'll be able to outline where you want to put your cascading dress because it's going to have like a pink dress that is cascading downwards so once you do that you want to take um like a skewer or maybe a toothpick or something with a sharp tip and you want to outline the parts where you're going to have your cascading dress yes that's where you're going to pipe on and stuff so once i'm done outlining that and if you notice i added some sprinkles to it i think adding some black sprinkles uh, okay the reason why i added some black sprinkles is because i thought maybe it would make it a little bit darker but instead what it did was to like um it i liked it even more that the buttercream the cream the whipped cream wasn't dark enough i don't know like it brought out the it made it look even more grayish <laughs> if that makes sense and at this point it's kind of like too late to turn back or anything so okay so now i'm trying to make the cascading dress and i'm going to be using three different tips today you can use one but i just thought like using three different tips kind of give it that gives it dimension and makes it look more you know sophisticated and stuff so you want to take the first big tip and you want to like pipe some rosettes and maybe pipe some dollops on it yeah and then once you're done with the big tip you want to take a smaller tip and try to fill in the spaces basically what you want to do is fill in the space of that outline you made for the cascading dress yeah with some piping of cream and stuff so you can use maybe pink and white or just use a color that is in contrast with the base color of the cake okay in this case the base color was supposed to be black so i think the fact that i added some sprinkles to it and the black um, lady topper kind of even made it look a lot more like not black if that makes sense okay guys so now that i am done making the cascading part i was thinking okay what can i do and i wanted to cover the i wanted to wrap the lady topper in some pink ribbon and the pink ribbon i have is not the same shade with the pink food coloring i have if that makes sense and you actually can be like walking around stores trying to look for the shade of pink food coloring that matches the ribbon you have or a ribbon that matches like it's ridiculous so that's why you have to find a way to work with what you have that's why i tell customers to be open-minded so what i did was to wrap the lady in pink and then i took some of the pink and made like a base for the cake so it's made the cake come together a little bit more and not look like the pink on top is like very different from the pink beneath or something okay so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today we're going to be doing like the final part the part five of our whipped cream for beginners class yes so this is going to be the final part so we're going to be having like a more elaborate design today and i'm going to show you what we're using first things first i'm going to be melting some isomalt yeah because we're trying to do like a geode cake so i'm going to be melting some isomalt you can buy these isomalts in your regular cake stores or you can buy raw candy there's this thing called raw candy like google rock candy and then you see what i'm talking about just regular candy they're very cheap you can melt them just like this just make sure you melt them gradually 
on low heat and let it melt gradually so it doesn't burn because caramel burns really fast so you can use raw candies and they come in different colors so whatever color you want your cake to be is whatever color you should buy okay so this is iso mold today i'm melting it down and i'm going to pour it on my silicone mold so it can dry up and harden the same thing this is the same thing you would do if you were using raw candy you melt it down and once it's well melted I just pour it on maybe a silicone mat or a parchment paper on a flat surface and then leave it to cool down okay so today we're going to be working on our cake in the initial cakes I made, I didn't really show you guys how to tort and how to slice. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to slice because slicing even layers help your cake be well built and be even. I don't know if that makes sense. But I have a video for you guys on how to like um, layer cakes that are on, on even, like cakes that come out of the oven on even. Yes, how to work with that. I'm going to put a link right up here. It says click on me. Yeah, click on that okay so today we're going to doing a customized cake and it's going to be chocolate and vanilla okay so look at what i'm doing here i'm trying to slice the cake and i'm not using the slicing tool i'm using my free hand so what you want to make sure you do is like you're using the serrated knife and your your tiny finger is touching the table and then you're using your other hand to rotate your cake first of all you want to make like an imprint around the cake and you want the first line you drew to like join the second line at the back like you want to start from the beginning and like draw a line round and let it meet up at the same point and then you can now take your knife through that line you've done do you understand i don't know if you understand what i just said what i'm saying is yeah you need to make your make sure your hand is stable and then you're going to like use your knife to form like do like a line around your cake and make sure the line is straight and it joins from one end to the other before you now like go with your knife through that line to cut the cake so now let me show you what i'm talking about again see what i'm talking about so you can be using one hand to hold the cake and then make sure the second hand is stable on top of the table and touching the table because that's what will guide you and then make a line you're not really cutting you're just making a line that is coming from the top and it will join at the back because you're rotating it yes you're rotating the cake so you want the line to join at the end of the day so you're going to go through that line with your cake that way you're sure you're cutting like even nice slices does that make sense <laughs> i hope that helps you but if you don't get that i need you to watch a video it's called like i titled it like how to work on even on cakes yeah so you should watch that then you know how to slice and how to sort and how to like even though your cake is uneven how to work with it and like get like even cakes without wasting too much cake okay so the remaining part that is plenty we're going to cut that part off and throw it away okay then now that we have our even slices the next thing we want to do is clean our bowl and then i already whipped the cream yeah if you want to see the um the recipe for this whipped cream i already have a video for that i'm going to put the card right up here click on it it says click on me yeah click on that so you want to separate your cream into two and the reason is because you don't want there to be cr crumbs in your original one so put some cream on top of your cake board and then put your cake on top of it so it can stick and then put some cream on each layer before you put the next one and for this cake i'm going to be like um doing chocolate vanilla chocolate vanilla like that and then you want to put enough cream in between the layers and then make sure you press it together make sure you don't press it too much so like your cake does not split but make sure you press it enough to be firm and hold yeah and then you're going to do that for the last layer and then you're going to put it on top and i'm going to show you how to make it as stable as possible so it doesn't drift around when you're done decorating or doing transportation okay so once you're done with this you want to like the cream around it you want to rub it all around and like press the top down as much as you can without putting too much pressure so that your cake does not split and then we're going to be darling with straws these are just regular straws regular drinking straws yes you want to put it through but you want to cut the top so that it doesn't show through your cake that way like the straws make the cake stand upright and like it won't bend or it won't yes it will bend if you over mal handle it but it won't like just i don't know it just makes it a little bit more stable so you can buy regular straws or you can use dowels normally for bigger cakes i use dowels but for this kind of cakes like it's small and like you just need it to stay upright and you don't want it to bend and everything so straws will work yeah okay so what you want to do is do a light crumb coat and then put the cake aside once you are done so now the color i want to get today is going to be like a pink a nudish pink and pinkish nude <laughs> i don't know what that is but i'm going to be using a little bit 
bit of pink color and then i'm going to be adding some cocoa powder to it or you can use pink color on brown what it gives you is it tones down the pink to not look like baby pink it kind of looks like an adult pretty pink does that make sense <laughs> it looks like the pink of fours like natural fours what am i saying anyway the pink i want to get today is not like the baby pink ish so this is the pink i'm going for i don't want it to be too baby ish so so we are going to spread and if you watch my earlier videos the pattern of this video i showed you how to cover a cake completely and smoothly in whipped cream so if you want to see that video you should watch the whole of this playlist i already compiled for you this playlist is going to teach you everything you need to know about working with whipped cream it is like comprehensive and i made it specifically for beginners in mind so if you don't really have enough experience in decorating cakes and you want to maybe start with cream cakes i'm cream um, whipped cream cakes and buttercream cakes are not like very different in like in how they are made and stuff so if you want to start with cream cakes i made this video specifically for you because people keep asking me and everything okay so in this part i'm trying to show you how to scrape yes <clears throat> so what you want to make sure you do is that your scraper is directly on top of the board that way if you're sure it is standing upright and it is not tilting it's not bending forward or bending backward so that's very important if you want to learn more about that watch the part one of this video okay so what you want to do once you're done with this is put as much cream as possible and like make sure the top is smooth and you spread the remaining to the side and then we are going to like clean up our cake as much as we can and then we're going to start decorating okay so for this cake today it's going to be a geode cake a geode is like a stone that has like a pretty like once they break it it's a normal stone like a pebble but once you like break it the inside is very pretty and it has like really pretty colors that are ingredients like ombre colors inside usually and they're usually very beautiful and like people make maybe jewelries and stuff from them or people some people think like they are good luck stones or something so that's kind of cake we're making today we're making a geode cake okay so if you want to know why i'm doing this watch the part one sorry okay so <laughs> The next thing we want to do once our cake is clean and well done is to take our iso malt that we already dried and it is already firm. This firms up really fast. Maybe it takes around maybe 15 to 20 minutes to completely harden just like sweet. And then we are going to smash it into tiny bits. It's a tiny bit we are going to be using to make our geode um, part of the cake today. And this is a lot. For this video, I used 100 grams of iso malt. So you can as well use 50 to still be enough for this one like it's like i can use this for at least maybe three or four cakes of this size so the good thing you need to know is that you can pour it back into the pot and we melt it just make sure it doesn't burn because once it burns like it has this dull brown color that is just weird and ugly okay so the next thing we want to do is to cut out a part where we want to put our geode guess who's going to eat that tiny part of that cake because it's so delicious <laughs> okay and then we're going to cut the bottom part because this geode cake i want to make it top and bottom you can it depends on where you want to put it. you can make it in the middle you can make it around and stuff so depending on where you want your geode um whatever to be okay so that part where we cut out we're going to put some cream in there and like fill in the space because the um isomers we're going to be sticking in is going to stick to that cream so you need to put some cream to cover up the like the naked cake you can see okay so once we are done with that once you have done you're done with the top you want to do the bottom as well just like you did the top so and then once you're done for this cake i want to do like a pink geode you want a very like deep pink in the middle yes so you want to like fill the middle with very deep pink and then around that deep pink you want to put a very light shade of pink around it so it looks like an ombre coming from inside out if that makes sense yeah and then the same thing you did for the top you want to do the same thing for the bottom this is very easy actually this is extremely easy it, it's a com it's a cake that looks complicated but it is very easy and very pretty and very satisfying to make as well okay so once you're done with that you want to take some of your gold dust and mix mix some vodka with it and paint the edges of your geode that's what like makes it like pop that's what makes the color pop I don't know if you guys can see what i'm doing so you don't want to paint the old thing you just want to paint the edges lightly and make it pop and look really pretty and that's all she wrote guys that's all you have to do so for this cake it's for a customer so i'm thinking it kind of looks at least to be plain what more can i do so i decided to make like a gold splash around it so for this splash all you need is your the same gold paint that you used initially and then you need um 
um some sprinkles okay i tried to put some sprinkles around it and to splash some gold paint because i didn't really like the sprinkles i regretted putting the sprinkles around it before i thought about okay let me put some gold um you know splashes around so what you want to do is just fetch some gold with the brush and just splash it yeah it's going to like splash all around your kitchen which means you have to clean once you're done but like the result is very satisfying so once i was done with that i decided to put my gold um like happy birthday sticker because it's a birthday cake and see how pretty it looks see how wonderful and beautiful it looks so thank you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my other tutorials bye